In this video, you will learn how to use GeoGebra to construct a parallel to a given line through a point not on the line. On the drawing pad is line AB, labeled as lowercase a, and point C, a point not on the line. We will construct a line parallel to line AB that passes through point C. Select the Line Through Two Points tool from the Line toolbar. Click first on point C, then click anywhere on line AB. This will create point D and line CD, labeled as lowercase b. Select the Circle with Center Through Point tool from the Circle toolbar, and click on point D to place the center at point D, then click on line AB a short distance away from point D. This creates point E and circle C. Select the New Point tool from the Point toolbar and click on the upper intersection of circle C and line CD. This creates point F. Select the Compass tool from the Circle toolbar and click first on point D, then on point E. This creates a circle with the same radius as C and attaches its center to the cursor. Click on point C to place the circle on the drawing pad centered at point C. This creates circle D. With the compass tool still selected, click first on point F, then on point E. This creates a circle with radius FE and attaches its center to the cursor. Click on the upper intersection of circle D and line CD to place the circle. This creates point G and circle E centered at point G. Select the Line Through Two Points tool, again, and click first on point C, then on the intersection of circles E and D. This creates point H and the line CH, labeled as lowercase f. Line CH is parallel to line AB. Notice that angle FDE is above line AB to the right of line CD. Similarly, Angle GCH is above line CH to the right of line CD. These angles are called corresponding angles because they have the same position with respect to the transversal CD and lines AB and CH. Since the two sides of GCH and FDE were made using circles made from the same compass widths, they are congruent. Lines with congruent corresponding angles are parallel. Therefore, line CH is parallel to line AB. Because GeoGebra is dynamic, we can see what happens when we adjust various elements of the construction using the Move tool. Moving points A and B horizontally results in changing the scale of circles C, D, and E, as well as the slope of line CD. Moving points A and B vertically changes the slope of line AB, and therefore changes the slopes of CD and CH. Notice that line CH remains parallel to line AB. Moving point C will result in changing the radius of circle E as well as the slope of line CD. Moving point D between points A and E will affect the radii of circles C, D, and E, as well as the slope of line CD. Moving point E has the same result without changing the slope of CD. Notice if we move point D along line AB to the other side of point E. Line CH is no longer parallel to line AB because angle FDE is no longer a corresponding angle to GCH. Click on the yellow arrow in the upper right hand corner to undo the previous action and point D moves to its previous location. 